Hey, hey, welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen. Boy, this is out of whack. Let me adjust my camera. It is being a funky town. <laughs> hello, hello. Welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host, Kristen, and today I'm coming at you with some fun things that you can make for your pet um, or you can make um, for a party coming up. So we have these fun little triangles. I said that weird. I've been watching Friends too much. Triangles. Can I be any more emphasizing the syllable? <laughs> oh my gosh. We have pet bandanas. Um, and it has this great little space here to slip in through your collar. But you can also use them as a decorative pennant. And um, we have five different sizes and the smallest size is great. Like if you want to do like a little, a little pennant banner and these work up really fast. Um, you can see how I've already got this onto a dog collar. You could do it for any kind of pet um, that you're going to put like a little collar through. So, you know, I don't know if your cat tolerates um, clothing. Some of them do. Um, your iguana, <laughs> I doubt that. Uh, but my pets, um, I actually have five sizes for this crochet pet bandana. Uh, when I did, made my knit ones, yes, I do have knit ones. Um, I actually did three sizes on those, but I just went kind of crazy and did five on this one. And my boys, my two dogs, are wearing the other sizes. So they're in my... Um, extra large and extra extra large and actually the one who's in the extra large probably could go down to a large but um I put it on him and I was like he enjoyed it so I'm not taking it off <laughs> so I took pictures of those and I'll be uh showing those to you but our pattern comes out tomorrow our video comes out tomorrow if you are a member here at Goodnight Kisses you actually have access to that um video right now and uh, if you are a level two or higher member at Good Knit Kisses the um, email should have already gone out to you with the pattern uh, and there you go so tomorrow morning on Saturday the 9th the pattern uh, the last pattern of the year for Good Knit Kisses is going out and it will be crochet pet bandanas uh, that is on our blog and live tomorrow morning so if you are not part of our newsletter make sure you're subscribing goodnitkisses.com click on that newsletter and do all the things to um, get those those um, always have the videos that we've launched but you can also get them here on YouTube if you are subscribed just make sure to get all the notifications and do the things that <laughs> YouTube wants you to do so that they can send that to you and hopefully you got a notification today for this live video if you're new welcome I teach how to knit and crochet uh, we teach how to knit with needles but also loom knitting and um, we have had a ton of loom knitting projects but we have had some requests to do the pet bandanas in crochet. Speaking of which, now I get to share that link to one last person who just recently asked me for them. But I went a little crazy and created not three sizes, but I actually created five. Two are, again, on my dogs. And, um, yeah, and then I even created, this is the one, the sample, the color. I, I did a nice um, light color on camera. I haven't even woven in my tails yet, <laughs> um, but this is... This is one of the sizes. So I actually make a full sample on um, on the video tutorial and I give you the sizes that you need, the, the cast on um, and what you need to do for um, all the other sizes to make in the tutorial that comes out tomorrow. So yeah, be ready for that. Good morning, everyone. I see you. Welcome, welcome. I see Joanne has jumped on. Joanne is our resident awesome lady at Good Knit Kisses. We have Carol, a resident awesome, awesome, awesome lady who does our um, group. She helps run our Good Knit Kisses group and just keep it a well-oiled machine. Everybody's doing so well and enjoying each other and chatting it up in that group, um, posting their projects and having fun. I love it. Hey, Jackie, I see you. Welcome, welcome. One of our VIPs. I hope you're doing okay. Good morning, Lori. Love you, girl. She's another one of our VIPs. Mary Lou, I missed you last week in our VIP group. Oh, it's good to see y'all's shining faces, sort of. <laughs> Your icons. <laughs> um, glad to have you all. Uh, so we are um, crocheting over here at our house. Hold <laughs> on, that's what I feel like all I've done is crochet. Um, I have a bag I want to share with you guys. I 
I posted on Facebook, uh, my daughter who had asked me a while back, I don't know if y'all remember this bag, this is a sunflower bag, and this, I made two of them, and I did one that was lined and one that was unlined. So this is my unlined version. Hey Alice, good morning, I see you. So this is our crochet, uh, this is the sunflower bag. Yay! And she actually uses every day the lined version. And she was like, Mom, I really want a winter version. And so she went with me one day to pick out yarn. I had to go for another project. And then she picked this out. She actually picked this out back in September. But mm, that's how far behind I am. Um, but this one, this version, I have not, um, I have not steam blocked it yet. I actually put it all together without blocking. I know. I didn't do that with my other bag. But I decided to in this case. And it'll be okay. But it looks really good. I love it. I love it. So it's going to bloom out a little bit, but yeah, isn't that cute? I think the colors came together really well. So we did this beautiful green and then we have our blue accents and then we've got this uh, brown accent here, all the trim and then our handles and it's just gorgeous. I just love these colors. Um, I think this would be a great scarf like you could do whatever with this um I've had she was like oh you could do like a halter top mom <laughs> you know but I don't know that I would make separate circles <laughs> and the color thing for a halter but <laughs> they if you know what I mean <laughs> but it's so cute so like let's let's see the two together so this one's kind of more monochromatic because it's really just mainly one basic color and an accent you know really neutral I'm trying to hold these up and then this one here aren't they fun so fun I love it so yeah you only need 13 squares to make it and so we just decided um, that we wanted the um, the green the, the the green to be the main color on these four main squares here, and so you have four here, and then four here, and then the rest are the blue. So, yeah. So actually, it was really cool. Um, we'll probably have a pattern um, showing you or telling you how to do it. You know, maybe in the new year, um, we won't be releasing it or anything. But I'll take some pictures and. I actually have to put a liner in this one. Um, but yeah, the, the easy way, if you were like, I want to do this on the holiday uh, break before Kristen releases it, that's fine. Um, you can take my other pattern, the sunflower one. I just want to tell you all about it as a bonus today. Um, easy thing to do. What I did is I worked up all the circles first. Yeah. So I was like, let me see how many I need. And so I just worked up all my circles first. And because I was like, okay, so if I'm going to have the main color is green here then I need a circle for that so count how many I need in blue so I was like okay I'm gonna make this many blue and this many in the green circles yeah and um yeah so you need let's see in the blue I tell you, one two three four five yeah so it's five yeah I know that number <laughs> eight of the main color and five of the accent so anyway yeah and then you do the opposite for the color for the um the circle part first Anyway, I hope y'all like that. So, yeah. Uh, let's see what y'all have to say. It's gorgeous. Thank you, Joanne. Ooh, pretty. Hello, Deg. We have Carol. Carol says, so, so pretty in those colors. Jackie looks great. Colors really pop. Yes. And the halter top. <laughs> Adorable. You have a very lucky daughter for sure. Thank you. <laughs> I know I got finished with that one and um well I was like well I'm not finished yet but I was like taking requests I was like you know asking my son I was like do you want anything and my other daughter I'm like what do you want and so you know and he's like I don't know mom so maybe I'm off the hook for <laughs> making something else before Christmas um that I don't care that they saw me make it you know but um because the other one I was like I want to make sure that she's she's satisfied with it she's very particular but I know that she'll use it and, and because she really honestly she wear she used this bag like most every day yeah unless she has something specifically she doesn't need it for she uses the lined version of this one every day so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna maybe even build a few more pockets in this one for her so yeah 
Anyway, um, so if you missed in the beginning, what we're talking about this week is uh, the launch of our crochet pet bandana. We have had a pet bandana for loom knitters and needle knitters, and I've actually dropped those links for right and left-handed videos of those in the description of this video. And then we also have the links for the pet bandana that comes out tomorrow, so you won't be able to click on them unless uh, you're a member. Um, uh, until tomorrow morning. Um, members always get to preview it um, a, a day in advance and then it comes out for everybody else and then the blog will come out as well. So we have um, five sizes. I'm holding up three because two of them are on my other dogs. So anyway, this is the smallest version. I actually um, worked that one on camera. Um, and uh, when you saw my, uh, sorry, my hearing aids coming out. Um, when, if you saw my loom knitting video, um, or, you know, the one with my others, I had my dog, one of my dogs was a puppy at the time. And so this was the size that, uh, I made for him, uh, for that, like according to that size. And so, um, now he's um, much bigger and he probably should be in the large, but I put him in the extra large and it has, it bunches up a little bit. So he just liked it so much and didn't really want to take it off. So I was like, well, I'll just leave it on him. So I took pictures of him in the extra large, but he could probably use just a large. So he's kind of a medium ish dog, <laughs> medium, large size. Um, he's a, um, a combination. We, we rescued him. So if you're wondering about dog sizes and stuff, um, so he, we think he's a blue healer boxer. So a box healer, the only other person, the only other person, the only other dog I've ever seen, um, they, they called it blue healer when I, or box healer, when I was looking up to figure out what kind of breed he is. So his has, has kind of that boxer stance, you know, um, or a pit bull stance, you know, or like, it's like a broad chest anyway. So he's got like this bigger neck, and, but he's got kind of a shorter body. So anyway, he's cute. He's kind of cartoonish in fun little ways. <laughs> That's Rudy. So if you've seen him in the puppy pictures for the loom knit version, the smaller one, that's him. And so he's bigger now. And then we have Ranger, who is our, um, he's our golden retriever and I've got him in the extra, extra large. He could probably use the extra large, but the extra, extra large, um, I made it to where the, um, the collar will accommodate up to a two inch collar. So if you've got one of those much bigger dogs, you can do that. And you can also make them longer, make the casing longer. But another fun thing, like let's say we take this out. So by the way, when you make the casing, you could trap this inside as you're um, crocheting. But if you didn't, um, let's see, I'm gonna take this out. Another thing you could do is put a, um, a string. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing that. Um, you could put a string in this one. Let me hold this one up. Um, you could make the casing just a little bit shorter and do like a string or a ribbon or whatever and do pennants hanging. So you could have several of them hanging and do a fun little party thing and you could crochet on top and put a letter, you know, can you spell it happy birthday or congratulations or baby or it's a boy, it's a girl or whatever. Do something really fun, slip stitch crochet. And then when you're done with the banner, um, like let's say you did, let's say you did like a baby theme, you know, party, but you're like, oh, I want them to hang that in their room. You could leave the crochet, the slip crochet on there, or you could take that part off. Um, but so I have a video on how to um, add in letters or shapes. So one is for adding letters in and one is for um, just, you know, doing a shape or something. So I had done a fun little paisley design, like a bandana when I did the knit one. So um, I I did the Paisley over knitting, but you can obviously do it over crochet. So um, anyway, uh, we'll have links to all those in the video description and also um, coming out tomorrow. So thank you so much for posting that. That's the Loom Knit Bandana link and the Needle Knit Bandana link Joanne has posted. Uh, and then... Uh, Hi, Shakita. This says, awesome. I'm so glad you're here, by the way. Um, so anyway, I am excited about that and a little bit of coming up at Good Knit Kisses. So 
we have um, a wrap up coming of our whole year of patterns. So we've had a ton of loom knitting patterns, needle knitting, and crochet this year. And um, of course, our pet bandana will wrap up um, the rest of the projects uh, and for also for crochet. And we will be putting those into bundles. We do this every year. Uh, this is the first year we're doing it right at the very end of the year. So trying to launch around Christmas time. Um, usually we get it done like in the beginning of the following year in January. But um, we decided to do it a little early. So it's in time for the holidays. And um, there's going to be a nice big deep discount so that you can... Um, uh, afford to get them if you didn't get any this year. If you're one of our VIPs that is level two or higher, you have all the patterns. If you've been a member all year long, you'll have all the patterns uh, already, so you don't need to get that. Uh, but if you missed them, this is a great way to do it because you get everything. Um, all the other back uh, issues or whatever that we have from each following year, you can always have access to or you can purchase them individually. So um, we don't archive just a big bundles um, to where you have to buy a whole bundle. You can buy the individual. Um, but this is the time to do it because it is such a good discount um, that we already do as a bundle. And then we put a further discount on top of it just for a short season. So anyway, I'm so glad you guys joined me today. I'm going to run. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you're um, one of our members, I'll see you in the Zoom if you'd like to um, chat me up there. Well, we'll talk to you soon. Y'all have a great day and have a great weekend. Happy knitting and crochet. Bye everyone. Boop.